Welcome to Comic Power. I am your host, Comic Killer 72. This segment today is called Wicked Wednesday. If you didn't know, Wednesday is the new release for new comics that come out every week. These are my recommendations for the best books to pick up on Wednesday. I will also name one book to be the speculation pick of the week. If you've been watching the news lately, it seems like the world is going to pure hell, so comics is a good fantasy escape from all of that. First up, DC is giving us Batman number one, which is going to a second print. This is only the third time in the Batman continuity that it has ever started at number one. That's 1940, 2011, and 2016. Seriously, you knew this was going to sell out and go to multiple prints. Next up is Green Lanterns number one, which is also going to a second print. This is the story of the new rookie Green Lanterns, Simon Baz and Jessica Cruz, and it's been well received. It's selling very well. Now, if you prefer the old school Green Lantern, DC has given us Hal Jordan and the Green Lantern Corps Rebirth number one. Wow, that's a mouthful. Say that three times fast. Next up is Superman number one, which is going to a second print. Superman must decide if he's going to help his son develop his powers or hide him from the world. Next up is New Superman number one. This is the new Chinese Superman, and his name is Kong Keenan. Is this series going to be a vote for diversity in comics, or is it just pandering to the Chinese market? We'll have to see. China has 1.3 billion people, and U.S. companies are eager to get into that market. So I would recommend buying a copy of this for cover price. The risk is low, the curiosity is high, and the potential reward is high as well. Next up, let's see what Marvel is up to, and that's going to be Civil War 2 number 3. That's a very gory image on the cover. Marvel has not given us anything about this issue in the solicitations. It only says classified like on this variant cover right here. Next up is Spider-Man Deadpool number four, which is going to a third printing. Your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man and the Merc with a Mouth make the ultimate odd couple and every issue in this series has gone to reprints. Fox owns the movie rights to Deadpool and Marvel and Sony share the rights to Spider-Man so you're not going to see them in the same movie but could you imagine? If there's more Deadpool you want, there's more Deadpool you get with issue number 15 being released this week. This is a Civil War 2 tie-in. To figure out who these other characters are, you need to read Deadpool and the Mercs for Money miniseries. Next up is our report on independent comics and small publishers. First up is Kong, Skull Island number one from Boom Studios. The first King Kong movie dropped in 1933, so he predates Superman. And the influence of King Kong runs deep into our popular culture for over 80 years. So a King Kong number one comic book, that's an easy decision to pick up. Next up is Lady Death Damnation Game number one from Coffin Comics. In this issue, Lady Death rescues an innocent boy dragged to hell, including an ultraviolet quest into the depths of damnation. Like Tank Girl and Lady Mechanica, this character has a very strong cult following. If you're not already on board, go ahead and pick up this issue number one to see what it's all about. Next up is the $6 million man, Fall of Man, number one from Dynamite Entertainment. This is based on the hit TV show that ran from 1973 to 1978 starring Lee Majors. It's the story of a NASA astronaut who is severely injured in a crash and they rebuild his body with bionic limbs. And he's used as a secret agent to take down crime. It's a premise that translates very well to comics. The TV show has a spinoff called The Bionic Woman as well. People will be chasing this action figure variant. It looks pretty cool. Next up is the speculation pick of the week. And that's going to be Conan the Slayer number one from Dark Horse Comics. And you might ask, why Conan? Number one, it's been iconic since 1932. Number two, he's just badass. And number three, the print run's gonna be really, really low because people are not gonna be paying attention. So expect for it to be underprinted. And number four is the fantastic, phenomenal art of Sergio de Villa. You've seen great covers with inferior interior work before, but this is not it. I mean, look at this sketch work. Dark Horse leaked this three months ago to let you know just how good and how precise all of the artwork would be in this comic. Clearly, Sergio was the best artist you never heard of, but not for long after something like this. This is phenomenal. So if you only got four bucks to spend on one comic this week, make it Conan the Slayer. Next up, let's see what Image Comics is offering. And that's going to be Descender number 13. If you like Saga, then you'll love Descender. It's an excellent book you should be reading. You might want to get a trade paperback so you can catch up to what's going on. Next up is Horizon number one. This female soldier must protect her planet from the occupiers, which are earthlings. So in this comic, it would make us the bad guys. I guess that's sort of like Avatar. If so, that's a pretty good premise. I would pick it up. Next up, two of the five nominees 
for uh, Eisner for new comic series or Image Comics, which are Monstrous and Paper Girls. So in honor of that, Image is releasing $1 reprints of both Monstrous and Paper Girls shown here. Congratulations to the publisher as well as the creative teams for their nominations. These reprints will cheaply help you get on board to what's going on in these series instead of picking it up now and being overwhelmed. Next up is The Wicked and the Divine, number 21. The premise here is that the pagan gods of the past have returned in modern era and they're inhabiting the bodies of young people and trying to influence the public by becoming pop stars. Starting at issue 21 is going to be confusing, so you definitely want to get a trade paperback of this as well. Next up is the Miller World Annual 2016. What this is is a collection of the best new writers and artists that were found in an international search by Mark Miller, or it might be Millar, I don't know how to pronounce it. He first got famous as the writer of Marvel Civil War crossover and Old Man Logan, and he's got movies made with his own properties, which include Kick-Ass, Wanted, and Kingsman. He's known for having a very serious ego, something along the ways of Donald Trump meets Don King in terms of self-congratulations, but his impact in the modern comics era cannot be denied. Next up, let's see what Valiant is up to, and that's gonna be Ninjack number 17. If you are a fan of secret agents, spies, espionage, gadgets, this book has it all. Just imagine if James Bond was a ninja with great writing and fantastic art. Like with the image books I recommended, I recommend you get the trade paperback, like the Weaponeer. This will get you issues number one through four of Ninjak, so you know what's going on. Clearly the best series you're not reading. And last but not least from Valiant, we have Bloodshot number 15. This is part one of the Bloodshot Island story arc. Bloodshot looks like a mashup of Wolverine meets the Punisher meets Deathlock. The art and writing on this monthly series is incredible. You should be on board with this. There are going to be comic book movies based on the Valiant characters in the future and Bloodshot's going to be first, so you should be paying attention to what's going on. That's about it for today. Thank you for watching Wicked Wednesday, where I review all the new comic books for a new comic day. Be sure to follow my blog at comicpower.net. On social media, follow me at facebook.com forward slash comicpower.net and comicpower-universe.tumblr.com. And don't forget twitter.com forward slash comicpowersub. I also sell comics on eBay at this link. This is Comic Killer 72 for Comic Power saying bye bye. to share this video click on subscribe give it a thumbs up and tell everyone you know about this channel to help it grow thank you for your support